Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 awesome Gaming. We're back with some more MechWarrior 5 Mercenary. I hope the beard doesn't look too bad. I uh, I got up specifically to go back to the bathroom to brush it. And on the way back, I started thinking about my planer and if there's a way to adjust it to get rid of some of the snipe I'm getting. And so then I walked right past the bathroom into the garage and played with the planer for 15 minutes and uh, sat back down, got everything turned on and set up and realized I never did actually go run a comb through the beard. So, um... Looks kind of okay on the monitor. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right. I am finally caught up with all of my editing. I've got the final Enemy of My Enemy video uploading on YouTube right now in the background. I've got some videos uploading to Utreon. Uh, I am on Utreon. If you're curious, if you'd like to watch on a different um, platform or uh, potentially have a membership there. Um, similar to something like a, a Patreon or something like that, or a, or paid membership on Twitch, whatever. Um, anyway, it is there. Uh, so we're up to date. So I'm kind of like, let, let's see what we got going on. Let's check the star map. I did run a couple missions last night after we were done. Got another hero mech. I don't have any money. I've got zero money for a hero mech. But we do have some more missions here in Merrick Space. We've got this is an 11. We've got a 10 and we've got a 12. Um, we've also got a nine. So maybe we go nine, 10, 11, 12. Sure. Um, let's verify everything's repaired. I did pick up a catapult last night. I do love the Jester. Uh, it's two largest, two mediums, two small lasers. Um, I've done some work. I think I did one upgrade maybe for internal structure, but I haven't had the money to do anything else. Uh, we've also picked up the Shadowhawk. Um, this is the replacement for Arcantaro. I told you I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Um, I happen to find this here. Let's let's go here where we can actually look at the the updates on them. Um, this is the Shadowhawk. I am not super familiar with. Um, pulled from the burning wreckage and destruction of Carlisle's commandos in 3024, the Great Death was the personal. Oh, okay. I, I do know the Great Death Legion. Uh, in 3024, the Great Death was the personal Shadowhawk of Grayson. Death Carlisle. Although, uh, through a series of stunning victories, Grayson has newly formed Great Death Legion, had the revenge on Duke Rykel and the Draconis Combine, immortalizing him to the people of Trawan. It's been a really long time since I, I read the books for that. Um, anyway, so we picked it up. Uh, I've just upgraded stuff. I haven't done anything else. Just upgraded what there was. Oh, I, I swapped the SRM2 for a Streak SRM2. Um, that was an extra ton, but I only went with half a ton of ammo because it is only a two. Uh, and then took off half a ton of armor, I think is what I did. Um, so anyway, so we've, we've picked that one up, and then we've also picked up the Jester, um, because it's one of my favorites. Uh, and this replaced the Rifleman, um, which I had been running with LB-10Xs. I played with uh, those for a little bit. I do really like those. And we could potentially put one of those on the Shadowhawk instead. We'll see how the Shadowhawk does. Um, I do like the single hit of an AC-10. Right. I mean, when it hits, I love the punch it gives it. It's the same issue I have with burst fire. The difference is um, for the LB-10X, um, everything hits it once. I don't have to try to hold on the target. It does still spread, right? Um, whereas the, which is a similar issue with the burst fire, where not all of the damage hits the same location, uh, unless you're you're really good. Um, however. For whatever reason, the LB-10X, because it all hits at once, I prefer it. In fact, I like LB-10Xs a lot, and for things like flyers and stuff like that, it works really well. So it's great for the rifleman in its anti-air roll. Um, and you can just absolutely shred things in up close. If you're brawling with it, it, it does huge things. Um, but so does a regular AC-10, for that matter. So uh, anyway, Catapult happens to have, uh, like I said, a couple mediums, a couple larges. Uh, I swapped the smalls for some small short bursts because I had them. Uh, and they were the only higher level smalls I had, apparently, which is a little weird. Um, I must have sold a bunch of them at some point. Uh, and we've got a couple AMSs on it. So that's where we stand at the moment. Uh, Atlas is all redone. I think you guys have seen that. Uh, I don't think there's any changes in our lineup at the moment. So we just don't have any money. That, that's it. I, I ran a series of missions specifically to uh, to get some money. Uh, and I did a little bit of upgrades and I up, I... Did a little bit of work on some of these mechs and and my little bit of money is gone so that's okay though uh we have the leer and rebellion up here it looks like it's gonna cost us five hundred thousand 
and it's going to take 76 days, which means it's going to cost us another 600,000. So we're talking that we're going to have about 500,000 left. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, do we have to make two payments in that time? No, but we should only have to make one payment. We're not going to have any money left. We'll have to pick either the rebellion or the independence when we get there uh, and kind of figure out what we want. So this one's going to be Lear and Commonwealth. This one's going to be Sky Pro Independence. We're probably better off just from a faction standpoint going for Sky. Um, but I figure when we get there, we'll make that decision. So uh, let's go ahead and travel up there. All right, and this one is called Lear and Rebellion. So let's go ahead and check the transmissions. All right, so we can do either this one uh, and again, it's for independent, or we can go here for Liren. I think we go here. Stop the launch. Oh, it's a tier 12. Now, I still think we go here. I think we go here because, again, uh, we have much better faction with independence than we do with Steiner. Uh, so I think, uh, or with the Liren Commonwealth in this case. So I think we're better off that route. Let's, let's check our faction real fast. Go operations, stats. Um, Al Steiner, we're at minus 52. Uh, Independence, we're at 95. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. I think that's what we need to do. Okay, so let's go view transmissions. Let's come down here. Sky, uh, we represent the free sky movement, the true voice of the Isle. Our people within the Lyran Commonwealth's Isle of Sky region have grown restive and, and dissatisfied under the Archon's rule. Well, the sky has always maintained a pilot, uh, it's always maintained a pilot light of secessionist throughout the centuries. Pilot light of secessionism? I understand what they're saying. They're, 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 they've they got a flame burning, right? A candle burning of secessionism. Um, interesting that they set a pilot light. I wonder I wonder where whoever is from wrote this, like where that's the phrase. Um, the loss of our world's the Draconis Combines of the Free World Leagues during the Third Secession Wars fanned this flame into act of rebellion against the Archon. Civil discourse has fallen by the wayside, and our region is lit as a lit match away from detonating the proverbial powder keg and turning the Isle's descent into an armed revolt. The Archon asked Aldo Lestrade IV and Ryan Steiner with uh, diffusing the situation, but they both support the free sky movement and thus will do nothing to hinder our cause. Okay. In support of our movement, large segments of personnel from the Sky Rangers Brigade have either taken leave or are currently AWOL and are now training alongside the civilian volunteers of our movement. We seek, we who seek the Isle of Sky to succeed from the Lyran Commonwealth ask for your services to supplement the Sky Rangers. All right. And if we do this, that's going to take away that. Now, there is a series of books, I think, just about this. Dealing with dealing with the Sky Rangers and and all that, and I'm I'm pretty sure I read them like 30 years ago. Um, so anyway, we'll accept. Close that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the contract. Um. Yeah. Free Sky Movement. Interesting logo there. Um, it's going to be a difficulty 70 tonnage of 315 on the ice at noon with some with a snowstorm. Okay, let's. Uh, we'll go salvage, and then we'll go to defense, so we don't need uh, mission strike. So I guess we just go this route. I think that'll be okay. Gets us 33 salvage, a little bit of money. Anywhere the warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Um, now let's figure out what we want to take with us. All right, 315. So we may not put them in this order, but let's let's start with an atlas. Let's go with the Highlander. The the um the Hatamoto is probably the last one to get changed in the recent near future. Do we take it now? Um because I'm planning on selling it and because I have a thumbnail already made with <laughs> with it in there that I haven't used yet. Um that would leave us 30 45 tons. Um I have a 40 tonner we could take. Something like that. It puts us a little bit under, because like I said, I don't think this has a huge um, DPS, but it's done well. It's done reasonably well. 
Um, the question is, which do I pilot? I think I'll take, I do kind of want to know how they'll do in the Atlas. Maybe I'll take the Hatamoto. This is not the best choice, honestly. Um, but if we're going to take it as kind of a last ditch attempt, I'll take it. Um, because really I should be in this one, I think. <laughs> I think I do my best work with a Gauss rifle. Uh, but I think that looks okay. Uh, Shenzing, Brandon, and Bowden all in there. Um, I mean, we could look at... We could take Brandon out. You're 38 of 50. You're pretty good, though. Really, it would be Shenzing that we take out. He's almost maxed. Um, we could leave him in here to work on his projectiles, though. That's not a terrible idea. Um, what is my other option? Dahlia. That's right. Uh, no, we got Lujan. Um, Lujan's at 44. I'm going to go Lujan. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Already up. To carry out a strike against the free sky movement supply lines. Up ahead is a critical logistics hub that must be defended at all costs. All right. Get around here. Uh, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. A firm on the move. All right. I think what we're going to do is I think I'll put you there. The Highlander there. I'm gonna put the Atlas. Looks like we made it here just in time, Commander. There, and we'll keep Visual the cicada on us. On our mercenary forces. Glad you can make it, Commander. Intel has our bogies coming in any second now. Hope you came. We'll see how that goes. Hostile forces just crossed the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. That mech is on our kill list. You know what to do. Wolfhound or Charger? I don't remember. Target acquired. We're going to let the uh, charge. I was going to say, we're going to let the Wolfhound come in, but but realistically, the uh, charger's pretty damn fast, too. All right, let's get him to mix it up with him. Oh, he's lost his large laser. So let's get him to mix it up with you. Nice. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, I'm not sure who got him. I think. Looks like you got their attention. I think the Highlander did. I mean, if I knew who, if I could put voices to things, but I think I saw the Gauss flash as we weren't running in there. Target acquired. So now we'll rotate this way. We'll leave the we'll leave the Atlas back there, right? He still has range. He's got LRMs, uh, rather, and he's slow. So getting him moved back and forth is kind of a pain in the ass. The Highlander can brawl if it needs to. It also has some SRMs. See, it's putting on some LRMs there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a shot in on you and see if we can get your attention. So you can take off that arm. Atlas is helping. There we go. Uh, I was going to hit him with the sword, but it was just faster to shoot him. I went kind of Indiana Jones on that one. Shield arm is gone. Uh, is he going to turn and give me the other arm? Yep. All right, I'm going to ignore him for a moment. That one's gone. Is the other one gone too? No, it's still hiding down here. He took a couple hits and said, you know what? Discretion is the better part of valor. I'm just going to hide down here. Get stuck in a rock, probably. Question is, is he stuck in the rock or is he down in this little cleft? Here he is. It's not bad news. I mean, it's just what's going to happen. That's the whole point of why we're here. All right, let's get up here. Heavy Metal's got some LRMs out at the wrong thing, shooting the dropship. We have a rifleman coming in on the awesome. Target acquired. 
Or I'm sorry, on the uh, Atlas. I might have to just ignore those for a minute. Ah, he's just a little bit too far away. We gotta get rid of those LRMs. It's a lot of LRMs. Target destroyed. Enemy destroyed. He's almost done. I've got a, I've got a shorty who came to see me. I wonder if something scared him. He was sleeping out on the couch a minute ago. Not so much anymore. Target destroyed. Uh. Ooh, Stalker. Let's see if we can take off some more weapons from you. You're, uh... Scary. There we go. We'll ignore you now. I would not mind salvaging you if we can. I really wanted to get the last hit on that, uh... I'm trying to get the, uh, sword. Never mind. Oh, they're landing right on top of stuff. That's okay. That's okay. We, 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 those two are there. I'm going to come here and see if I can start working on these choppers. You okay, short stuff down there? In the, in the base. How come they can land in the base, but I can't? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we'll get some missiles on him though. And that will uh I found the fuel tank. Destroy. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Okay. Um what's the best way for me to get at them? Probably through this wall? Is there a gate here somewhere? Oh, are they outside? Oh, wait, they're outside. Let's go. All right, they're working on the Highlander. Uh, hopefully that's not... No, it's not the Gauss. Oh, baby. Focus fire on Commander's target. All right, I'm gonna kind of ignore the Thunderbolt for the moment. Get rid of those AC-20s. All right. He's got an ammo explosion. Target acquired. These are the last two? Yes. Alright, so we're okay. So there's a king crab and a, and a stalker in here. Um, either of which I would not mind having. There we go. Good work. That's the last of the attackers. The free sky movement is grateful, I'm sure. This is gonna be the, the best one to determine damage for the AI in the Atlas, but it'll do. Uh, and the only one we had the option on is the Marauder. Well, we'll take it because we need some money. Uh, decent stuff in here, though. Take a couple medium lasers. 1,300 damage in the Highlander for Lujan. Not too shabby. Atlas only did 326. He ended up kind of out on that corner, though, and everything seemed to come from the back corner. I... I, I I hoped that the Atlas was in a better position because there's a lot more open map space that direction, but everything dropped in the back corner for the most part. Um, and what didn't that, that, you know, LRMs and Gauss. Are you okay, buddy? Little puppy dog down there all scared. Um, I only took 142. The Cicada only took 142, 243, 273. So, you know, the guys in the corner took about the same amount of damage. The two of us took about the same amount of damage. Um, big damage here. About the same back there. I, I don't know. I think we're okay. Let's see. Uh, you're just going to go to cold storage. I don't need a Marauder at the moment. Although you're a good Marauder. Um, but let's go ahead and 
we'll go ahead and sell you. I do still have the uh, the rifleman. We're not selling the hero max. Um, you're fixable. You're fixable. Uh, you're fixable, and you are too, probably. It's just medium lasers. Oh, they were tier four. Now I've got some tier two. I have a tier three. I'll throw it on there. A two, a two three, four. We'll completely jack it all up. All right, let's go ahead and hit Q, start. Good enough. Um, yeah, and then I think eh, we're into the 20s. We'll call this an, we'll call this one a, a, a day. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. We'll continue on with uh, our Sky Rebellion here. I'll see you then. Cheers.